Well, today on our program, I'm pleased to welcome Steve Ethier. He is the Senior Vice President of Stadium Operations with the American Family Field, home of the Milwaukee Brewers. Steve, how are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How are things in Milwaukee? It's been a while since I've been there. <laughs> well, things are good. It's, uh, it's springtime. Uh, the team's doing well. We're off to a great start. Um, of course, we have a uh, limited capacity, as do most uh, teams across uh, Major League Baseball, a few exceptions, but uh, we are with the majority. Well, well, Steve, thanks for your time today. We're going to talk about something related to your stadium, and it's the GBAC Star Facility Accreditation Program. Uh, we know that uh, American Family Field is now accredited, so that's great news for those that work there and your attendees, the fans that come to the ballpark. Maybe you could just share with us some of the highlights of your facility to get started. Like uh, how many, how many does it hold? What's it like to come to your stadium? Sure. So um, the, the ballpark opened uh, in April of 2001. So we are, uh, you know, celebrating our, our 20th anniversary uh, of being uh, open. Um, it is a retractable roof stadium. There are five moving panels, uh, very unique design. Uh, in comparison to other operable roof facilities. Uh, ours is, is more of a fan shape uh, with a pivot above home plate. Uh, so th three panels uh, move to the left and uh, two to the right. Uh, we uh, seat 42,000 fans uh, as a, a published capacity. Uh, the ballpark uh, is on a site of 265 acres. Uh, so about 12,000 uh, parking stalls. Uh, we're roughly two and a half to three miles from downtown Milwaukee. Um, so in, in that way, also unique. Um, certainly there was a trend in the 90s and early 2000s of ballparks moving back into um, the um, urban centers or, or downtowns. Um, we're a little different than that because tailgating is, is part of our culture here. So we wanted to preserve that, and that's why we're located where we are uh, in the in the city of Milwaukee. Yeah, sounds like a good strategy to have. Uh, let's talk about the trigger. What was it that prompted your stadium to obtain the GBAC Star accreditation? Well, initially, it's you know we wanted to do as an organization everything that we uh, possibly could do to ensure fan safety and comfort. Uh, safety is always our uh, number one priority. Um, and so, you know, we looked into, uh, into GBAC accreditation um, and, and that, that's really what, what started the process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I noticed on your website, the Brewers website, uh, you do mention there are many points there about safety and cleaning and disinfection and making sure people feel safe. So, so congratulations on that step for the GBAC star accreditation. Thank uh, you. Yeah, there's, there's 20 elements, Steve, to, to analyze and to look at. And I don't know if you personally went through all those yourself, but your staff did. Does it, is there anything that stood out as maybe more challenging or even easy to accomplish in those 20 elements? All, you know, all, all are certainly, you know, Im important to us. Um, but ensuring that you know the goals are specific measurable and achievable it is certainly of value to us and and makes a lot of sense um you know so that you know for example um our policies of social distancing um assigning supervisor responsibility to ensure that our staff uh is social distancing as well as as our um uh, fans, um, using graphics, whether they're floor graphics or, or signage, uh, to reinforce that behavior, um, and making sure that, that supervisors are also, uh, uh, ensuring that behavior among employees, uh, and that they're providing the necessary training and conveying those messages, uh, during the training, uh, program, um, and that, you know, all the protocols that we're following are, are clearly defined and, and understood by our staff. 
Yeah, no, that, those are good points. And I like your, your comment about the, the signage and, and all of the direction that the fans will receive and, of course, staff. I, I think in today's world of the new normal, we expect arrows on the floor and we expect to be reminded, you know, how far to keep the distance from other people. So, no, it sounds like you're doing great. But, you know, we're talking about the pandemic right now. Let's talk about after the pandemic. This thing's going to end one day. It's, it's going to, we're going to go back to normal, whatever normal might be. Right. How will GBAC star accreditation benefit you after the pandemic? Sure. I, I think um, number one, and uh, maybe most important, that this accreditation, ha- the, the process of really the, the practice of just going through the process um, has great value to us. Um, and and getting us in the habit, you know, whether it's our housekeeping uh, staff uh, or uh, so other associated uh, departments of documenting, assessing risk, um, you know, all those things have value now and they will continue to have value in the future. Um, you know, assessing risk, mitigating risk, ensuring, you know, the proper documentation, um, making sure that, you know, all those elements are part of our training program um, and ensuring that, you know, the employees understand all those aspects of our training, that everything is reinforced on game day by supervisors and by leads, um, and that we are uh, continually auditing those processes, um, you know, which, Um, you know, may or may not happen in a lot of venues across, whether it's Major League Baseball or across other leagues. Um, But having this accreditation ensures that that all those things are happening. My uh, last question, Steve, is, you know, I I imagine that, you know, other VPs involved in baseball and in management uh, across the league. If you were to sit down with a few of them and they did not have GBAC star accreditation just over coffee, and, and you were to tell them why they should do it, what would you say? This has benefits, not just at the moment, um, but um, anytime that you add structure and that you are creating processes um, and uh, ensuring that you're training to those processes, um, it's going to have value uh, for the future. You know, I think, the, the program itself uh, is very thorough. Um, it's realistic. The goals are realistic and it will continue to have value. All right. Well, Steve, we do appreciate your time today. I don't know if there's a game today or not, but uh, if so, you probably have things to do. <laughs> we have one of those rare off days during a uh, homestand today. All right. Well, enjoy your off day. I'm sure off days still mean work and uh, we do appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it.